Okay guys, welcome back. Resident Evil 4 with Android 12 TV box, so uh, Rockchip RK3588, the most powerful flagship TV box in the world, guys. You can buy it for 150 bucks, buy the links in the description. Let's go! By the way guys, testing uh, right now Resident Evil 4. 2.25x resolution, which is uh, something between Full HD and HD resolution, guys. Full HD and HD, it's, it's okay. I wish they can play, play, run it on, uh, uh, let's just say, 1.5k resolution or 2k, but it can't handle. This is game uh, is heavy for, uh, it needs more power, it needs more power. Nevertheless, this is still very, very impressive, guys. I love this performance. Uh, it's sharp enough, it's sharp enough. Let's check it out. Cutscenes are still, uh, obviously cutscenes uh, are not running the resolution uh, which the gameplay is running. I don't know what is the native resolution of the cutscene. Is it 720p? That's also very nice there. Let's go next. I'm not gonna check anything. Como estas amigo? Andale, andale, andale! Oh! Calma, muchacho. Let's go, guys. Headshot. Headshot. Full speed even with the enemies, guys. Full speed even with the enemies. It's very nice to sit here on the sofa, relaxing on a 50 inch 4K TV. Absolutely lovely. Just way better than on a, on a phone or a tablet or a PC, guys. Just amazing. Amazing experience here playing in the, uh, in the living room. These, uh, these emulators on this uh, TV box. Make sure to check my full review, check my full gaming review with, with Android games, and my full emulation review, of course, also. Resident Evil 4 here running full speed, 2.25x resolution. This is the latest version of the Ether SX2 Global from the Play Store. I repeat again, the latest version. Let's go. Anything here? Peras, perasos. Ahí está. Oh no! I didn't take any bullets, man, from the previous. I need to take some bullets, man. Let's go. Oh my god, no bullets, still no bullets. Still no bullets. What am I gonna do, bro? Where am I gonna find the bullets? Health is okay. Full speed, guys. I don't feel any lag whatsoever. It's very nice. Resident Evil 4, the latest build here. This is Mali GPU, guys. Mali GPU. G610 4 core GPU. Let's go. Wow, man. Even on the second stage, is running full speed. Let me try to look. I'm gonna look around. Skip this and try to zoom. Wow. Check this out, guys. Please check this out. The zooming in, the quality here. Running full speed. Wow. I'm gonna try to call him on me. How to run around. They saw me, they saw me. I need to find some bullets, bro. Plants, I don't need plants now, bro. Leave the veggies for later. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. You missed me. Let's go up on the ladder. Up on the ladder, bro. Climb up. Hey, we have some bullets. A shotgun! Oh my god. Wow. 
I'm just running, what can I do? Anyway guys, that should be it. Thank you for watching, bye bye. Okay guys, welcome back. So we've been testing Devil May Cry 3 with this beautiful mini PC Android box with Android 12 pre-installed Mali G610. Insane performance. I will show you right now. Let's go. Okay, let's go guys. This is right now running on 1.5x resolution here. Full speed guys. <laughs> Devil May Cry 3 is running on Android TV box. Uh, full speed here with the Rock chip uh, processor. I repeat again guys, I'm using here Mechatronics uh, uh, expensive TV box, $350, but I will leave an uh, alternative TV box, which is the only uh, two boxes with this chip so far that I could find online. It doesn't exist so many different uh, boxes, and I'm really shocked that uh, uh, other uh, TV box companies didn't jump on this chip, like McCool, B-Link, uh, what else we have, the other A95 also, all other uh, TV boxes, guys, or Ugos also. I'm not sure why they didn't produce uh, 2022 TV box with this chip. That is shocking. Maybe they're gonna do next year. Who knows, bro? It will be really big shame if the companies don't jump on this on this train, man. It's an insane, insane uh, flagship, man. That's the if uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen uh, 2 right now uh, upcoming it will be the flagship of uh, Qualcomm of Android smartphones. Then this chip should be the flagship of Android TV boxes, guys. And indeed it is. It's way more powerful, like I said at the beginning, than Nvidia Shield and any other TV boxes combined. It. <laughs> Devil May Cry 3 here. Devil May Cry 3. Uh, anyway, let me jump here to 2x resolution. This is 1.5x. Uh, and I will be showing right now all of this. Special edition. Vulcan AP, 1.5x resolution. Let's go to 2x. Can it handle 2x for speed? And it seems that it can, guys. It seems that it can. There you go. That's nice. That's, so this is uh, 1024 with uh, almost 900. So this is something between full HD and HD resolution. Wow, check this out guys, amazing, amazing and it's absolutely insane to play all these games uh, without the phone, without the PC, just a simple small short cube of a TV box here on the bottom guys, check it out on the top bottom left corner, that's it, that's it, look how small it is, same uh, like a I would say, well, how would I com compare it? It's, it's smaller than my modem, bro. Let's go. Shall we start, man, this? Come on. Okay, so, uh, second stage is also running full speed and 2x resolution. So no need, guys, to uh, lower down resolution, which is beautiful. Uh, running on Vulkan AP. And so far, I noticed 90% of uh, games will run better on Vulkan, whether it's Snapdragon or uh, whether it's Adreno GPU or Mali GPU guys, the games will run better on Vulkan with the ETRSX2. Which is interesting guys. Oh beautiful. Wow. Devil May Cry 3. Anyway, also now we're gonna go a little bit higher and see the other resolution, maybe we're gonna go to 2.5x. 2.5x, guys, like I see myself, it dropped to uh, it does have two three FPS drops, man. Maybe it's gonna even have more, but for now, okay. Yeah, there you go, guys. It dropped what was that? Maybe seven FPS, but very shortly, very, very shortly. Uh, again, like you see myself, mainly it's running full speed, but uh, it does have these few FPS drops which you can notice uh, just leave it at uh, 2x resolution guys and you're gonna be satisfied thank you for watching let's go next